The first tree, the last tweet. Spoilers for The First Tree Ahead. The First Tree is an interactive fiction game developed by David Well, an independent developer that I happen to subscribe to on YouTube. Hi, David. Uh, no, I never finished that game you inspired me to try making. Sorry. Uh, we play as a mother fox searching for her lost children, yet the fox is more a representation of the narrator's nightmare that keeps him from getting to sleep. The man, Joseph, with his wife Rachel reminisce about Joseph's childhood, his relationship with his father, and the many regrets he had with how he dealt with the traumas and tragedies he carried with him in his youth. While the mother fox runs through a forest scattered with items from Joseph's past, she only ever finds her children after they have been taken by a shadowy wolf that stands in the distance. The main form of gameplay the player may interact with are collecting points of light. Uh, Rachel shares with Joseph her experience growing up with an abusive father and how the suffering led to the life she leads now. Only after being comforted in this way is Joseph able to talk about the matter at hand. His father's isolation, his father's death, the regret that Joseph feels for not having talked enough with his father when he was able, regret for all the things for which he wanted to apologize but never felt it was the right time. The entire journey is guided by a metaphorical first tree a symbol that comes to represent both death and new beginnings, as Joseph tries to explain what happens in the dream between memories of his past. When the mother fox sees that all of her children have been taken from her, she is devastated and accepts that she must move on to the first tree by herself. Once she reaches the tree, we are given an opportunity to leave a final message for her lost children. Only the number of characters you are allowed to type will be the same as the number of lights you collected in the dream. Asking you, what's the last thing you would say to the people you leave behind? Creating a moment of ludonarrative that connects the narrative of remembering what is important in life, the time you spend with the people you love, to the ludence of exploration and collectibles. How long did you spend with the game, and did you value that time and experience? That is how much you get to say. Well. I typed in something generic, short, and uh, I guess inspirational. Didn't even use all 128 points of light available to me, whereas the message I received was one that was uh, far more honest. I wish I had one more day with you. At the end of the game, the player will receive one of the messages written by someone who played the game. My grandmother died of COVID-19 over Christmas, and only a few weeks before the vaccine was approved. She was someone who was loving and stubborn in equal measure. We rarely talked, but always talked for hours when we did, and uh, we, like many families, always made sure to say I love you before hanging up. My grandmother's condition turned unexpectedly right after we transferred to an outpatient care facility. We were expecting her to recover. The last image we saw of her awake, she was smiling and waving through the window on a video feed from my uncle's phone. I will never know what her last words for us may be, but we can be sure that we said everything that mattered. Now, when I am confronted with stories of death, having been so close to it so recently, I can't help but think that right now, on this channel, I'm writing my epitaph. I wonder if my final words, my purpose, is reaching you. Stay true.